Welcome to Mr. Stockcock. This is the first video after I deleted videos because um, I had to delete the videos because there's a law knocking around about ramping. And I've only just found out in the last couple of days about ramping. And basically, ramping means you tell people to buy off shares, right? And if it goes viral, and loads of people buy those shares based on your recommendation, put the prices through the roof, and then I sell my shares without telling anybody I've bought the shares because they've gone up to a high price, then, and I get rich, and then the stock prices fall again, so the people who have bought the um, shares are left like out of pocket. That's against the law. I'm not 100% sure if any of my videos broke the law, or kind of broke the law, or didn't break the law. Um, it all depends on interpretation. So I just deleted a lot of them, and I've gone back to basics now that I know there's crazy laws out there. And even though it sounds crazy when you first find out, oh, I can't believe that's against the law, what's going on? But there's fraud everywhere. People like to do these type of things. Happened once in a newspaper or something. Selling people to buy shares and made about forty odd thousand pounds. I mean, if you're gonna break the law by ramping, forty one thousand quid is a pittance, you know. You wanna do it better than that. But you know, that's why there's a lot of people who go to prison because they're really crap at being criminals. You know, crap. And I can't tell you which criminals are the worst criminals are being crap at criminals because then I'd be inciting advice towards these criminals and then I'll be breaking the law. I mean, it's just Western cultured society has so many rules that you've got to follow and remember and it's like, oh God, it's just like, it's a minefield of rules and it just, it just goes in your head and breaks your head down. It's, there's probably a rule about having a big head somewhere, you know. And there's a rule in Africa somewhere, I can't remember which city it was. And if you fart, you get the death penalty. I mean... And they're, they're not even like a... Well, they're kind of Western, but they're not Western. Yeah, they're just, they're so, yeah it's, uh, so I've started from the beginning. And hopefully... When I say buying shares, I'm going to show you that I bought the shares and then what price I intend to sell the shares at. You know, things like that. So, for instance, I have currently bought Aston Martin shares. I bought my 58p. And I'm hoping to sell them at about a fiver. But, because of the market so volatile at the moment, I probably ended up selling. I'll probably end up selling them around about the sixty-five p mark if they actually go that far. But at the moment, they've been going down to fifty-four, fifty-five p, and they've been losing money. So even though I bought my fifty-eight p, I'm pretty sure I'm okay to say that you should buy them if you can at fifty-four, fifty-five p, and sell them at around sixty, between fifty-eight p and higher. Make a little bit of money and then sell them and then wait for them to go down again to 54 55p. But remember, at any time, these shares are going to go right back to normal when society starts picking up. And it's pretty much, that's what it is. I'm going to say I bought Aston Martin shares. I'm not, you know. And the law is that if I tell you to buy Aston Martin shares at any time, at 58p, at 54p, Sell them at 60 odd P. You know, I've got to make sure that I have told you that I have actually bought these shares and selling these shares and possibly buying more shares in the future. But that's just like it's just a crazy minefield. So that's it. This is Mr. Stockcock, video one coming at you.